The easiest way you can design the Plucket Bormann fractional factorial design is using the Microsoft Excel. You do not need any fancy software. So all you have to do is basically use this design generator. Um, so for example, if we want to create a, a design that involves factors between four and seven, so four, five, six, or seven factors, then use this design generator. So simply copy this and then paste it here. You have to do transpose this the way I have set up the algorithm in Excel. And this cell is the last number of the generator. And then this one is the first number of the generator. And then copy all the way down, not this guy. And then simply copy this like this. And then the last number is basically zero, the low level of all these factors. So this is between four to six factors. These are the factors numbers. Um, so if you have six factors, basically you'll be using only up to this. If you have five factors, you'll be using up to this. Let me show you a couple of more. So if you want to design a study that involves factors between 8 and 11, so 8, 9, 10, or 11 number of factors, simply same thing, transpose paste the design generator here. And then the first cell is the last number of the design generator. And then the second is the first numbers. It's kind of keep rotating these numbers basically. And then not this guy. And then basically copy this all the way here. And then the last one is the all low level of all factors. So if you have nine factors, for example, it will be only using up to these. So these are the number of factors. Let me show you the last one, the biggest one. So here is basically the same thing. Copy the um, design right here. You have to do transpose paste. That's how I found the um, Excel. We can manipulate Excel that way. So this is again the last number of the design. And then the uh, second one is the first number of the design. Copy all the way down and then basically select these and then copy all the way to the right. Probably I've done a lot more than I need it, but you can always delete that. Delete that. So that's uh, up to 35 variables. If you are screening 20 variables, you'll be, well, that, is, that has different, it's between actually 30, uh, 2 to 35. So if you have say, 33 variables, you'll be using up to this. So here, we didn't finish the last, so that should be all the way, all low levels of the factors. So I'll upload these documents in theopeneducator.com so you can basically use it for yourself.